Next up, we're going to make a robot mouse that is cast from plaster. I'm gonna show you how to build the model, make the mold, and pour your own creatures. So you're gonna need some basic supplies, including mold making compound, some plaster compound, things that you find around the house or in the laundry room, like washers and nails and little game pieces, some burlap, you're definitely gonna need some glue, and some paint to make it your own special way. And of course, you'll need some paint brushes and some paper towels and some things to stay tidy. So you're definitely gonna wanna work on a work surface. And we're gonna get started by building our robot mouse. This is gonna be the basis of everything. So we're gonna build on a light switch cover, but you could use anything that you have that's you know stiff and sturdy. We just wanna kinda of create a base or a background for it. So I'm gonna use some white glue and this is nice, super thick glue. So I'm just gonna pour it right out of the bottle and use my finger to spread it around. Because what we're gonna do next is go ahead and glue our burlap right on top. Okay, so there we go. Now we're gonna assemble our pieces of our little mouse, and this is kind of where you get to be creative. If you want, uh, it could be a mouse, it could be just a regular robot, but we're gonna use all of these little pieces and glue them down so that it makes the creature look alive. So I'm just gonna put a couple of them down, and you'll see that when we get done, it looks like this. He's kind of cute. So now we have to make the molding material so that we can make multiples of him, which is kind of great. You can build them once and they make lots of copies. So let me move him just out of the side for a minute. And I've got our mold making material here. And it's really cool because all you have to do is mix uh, your water, which is warm, to your mold making compound and then stir it up. Now make sure you follow the directions on the packaging so that you get the right amount of mixture. And it starts to kind of set up quickly, especially when you use warm water. This is one to one. So I'm gonna whisk this up. If you have a whisk, use that. I have a four candy and as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job. But I'm gonna stir quickly, especially with using the warm water and scrape the bottom, go around the sides. I can feel it starting to get kind of warm and gloppy and thick. Can you see it setting up already, which is kind of cool. So let me take this out. And next what I'm gonna do is just kind of tap the sides. What I wanna do is get the bubbles out of it, like so. Okay. Now we're gonna take our robot mouse sculpture and we're gonna lay him down right on the top very carefully. And I wanna make sure that he is submerged, but um, he's, you know, not, he's in contact. There we go. So we're gonna set this aside and let this become a mold. And in the meantime, we're gonna mix up the plaster material. And it's a very similar process. You add one and a half cups of plaster and one cup of cold water. And we're gonna mix that up next. Wipe off my spoon here. There we go. Woo, this is always so much fun to me. It's kind of like you know being a mad scientist. You get to mix things up. And I'm gonna stir it and again, try and get all of the material dissolved. So let's check and see how our mold is coming. When you touch it and it's kind of like an egg white or gelatin, it's ready. If you lift straight up, you'll see that some of the molding material has stuck, but you actually do have a good impression. So now what I'm gonna do is just give our plaster material another little stir and go ahead and pour this in. Now this will take 20 to 30 minutes to set up. So make sure that you're very patient, but when it's done, it will just pop out completely from the mold. So let me set this aside, and I'll show you one that we already have done. Okay. All right, so when it comes out of the mold, it looks like this. Here's our little Robo Mouse. And as you can see, he's got some good texture, so now we're really gonna accent that by 
giving him a paint job. And I'm just using some acrylic paints here and I'm gonna give him a nice solid base coat. And I'm just gonna go over everything in this blue, but of course you can use the colors that you like and um, you know, kind of customize it as you want. You could even color each section a different one. So once you've got him all base coated, it will kind of look like this. And we let this dry completely so we can move on. Now we're gonna do just a little bit of dry brushing. I'm gonna use my paper towel to get the water off of my brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly go over the tops like so to kind of bring out those cool textures. And you can do yellow on the mouse or whatever color you want and then another color on the background. To finish it off, you're going to glue a little bit of felt to the back of it and that will protect your surface if you choose to use it as like a paperweight. Then when it's dry, all you have to do is trim around and you are ready to go.